Very good morning. This is Supreet and I'm going to show you something very interesting. Now this is never installed. I'm going to tell you what does this do. So let's say if you are a designer, if you are a coder or a programmer or a developer, software developer for that matter. Now if you want to uh, design something, develop something and you have um, a restriction towards um, you know, installation of softwares, some constraints wherein you don't want to install those softwares physically in your system. Now this is a cloud-based solution wherein uh, you do not have to install any of these softwares uh, but you can use these softwares. Now if you see here you have IDs like Visual Studio Code and then IntelliJ and then um, you have uh, browsers like Chrome, Firefox and then you have Postman to test your REST APIs. Um, and then you have communication systems, um, apps like Slack and Teams also. Um, and then you have many more extensions which can help you uh, code your you know, um, software. When you have PHP extensions, Python extensions, you have Golang extensions, Java extensions, many more. So um, how does this work? Uh, this lets you uh, choose between premium and free packages. Now, if you go to um, pricing policy, you have free uh, package wherein you get one CPU uh, and then you have three GB of uh, memory. Then you have 10 GB of storage and then you have limitations around uh, uh, the duration sessions of one hour and then auto pauses for three minutes. Whereas if you go for premium, it costs you $5.99 per month, which I think is a little expensive when you compare um, uh, with the storage given. It has 12 GB of memory uh, and then 50 GB of uh, storage given to you, wherein you can utilize this much of memory to install your software and run it. So you don't have to install anything physically. It will be done on the cloud. Now, uh, what else you get? You get to enjoy different uh, enough softwares uh, like Android uh, Studio as well for designing purpose. Um, uh, for the people who love Photoshop, there is also um, some kind of softwares, and then you can browse at the lightning speed of 2 Gbps. Now that's what it says, and uh, let's see how it works. Now I have um, created my profile and uh, enough chosen uh, this region. And I have created a space now. What does it do? Look at this. It installs all your software required, and then you can you know, browse whatever you want. It opens up a Chrome browser. Now everything happens in the Chrome browser, right? So um, or for that matter, any of the browser. So now I'm using a browser to uh, develop something, and inside uh, this virtual machine, you have uh, a Chrome being installed. Now, I'm going to choose something, type in something, I'm going to choose YouTube. All right, so I'm going to choose some videos to watch. Let, let me check the speed. Okay, let me check the speed. It says, uh, yeah, I mean, goes beyond 1000 mbps almost has reached 1200 mbps which is pretty good um, now what else can we do uh, these are the softwares that I have installed uh, Visual Studio maybe I can open Visual Studio all right create a new file Gonna save this on not on desktop maybe 
objects. Yeah. Let's see, this is the sample file. Yep, look at this. So it does your work easier um, and there are many more softwares that you can run. Um, and if you have, uh, all right, let me test um, some. APIs uh, since I've installed Postman, let me open this. Uh, this will ask you for account. I'm gonna say sign in. I'm gonna sign in with my Google account. Right, this will last for additional authentication. Let it authenticate. All right, so this is how you can you now utilize neverinstall.com to code, program something, to design something without even installing softwares in your system. Now, what do I feel? Uh, my thoughts on this are, uh, this is okay for a home purpose, where are you are uh, you know, using Visual Studio Code or any other IDE for light programming, uh, lightweight programming. Uh, but then if you are using Visual Studio, uh, or uh, SQL Server, which is gonna eat up a lot of your memory. So uh, 3 GB memory and 10 GB of storage would not be sufficient. Uh, so if you are a front-end developer using only Visual Studio and then um, you know lightweight NPM packages. Uh, so I think this runs well um, and you don't have to worry about installing uh, you know, uh, these software IDs physically in your computer and, and then uh, use it for your demo purpose, practice purpose. Um, that is all I feel. Um, so what do you have to say about it? Just comment in the comment section. Thank you.